AI is not deterministic. The output that AI gives you is the sum total of everything it's been trained on, the sum total of what it has to work with, and what you've asked. And if you ask the same question of the same AI engine, you probably aren't going to get exactly the same answer. It's a little bit of a challenge there. So I'm actually going to use a couple of recorded demos because my intent here is not to just highlight all the cool things you can do with Copilot. I'm going to assume that most of you already have a basic understanding about what Copilot pilot for Microsoft 365 can do. I'm going to use some Microsoft produced videos to demo specific use cases within this, but then we're going to focus on what the business adoption of a technology like Copilot really looks like. So without further ado, let me jump into a Copilot demo here. Imagine you have an appointment that conflicts with your weekly business review. What if you could do both? With Copilot, you can opt to follow a meeting. After the meeting ends, Copilot will summarize what you missed. You'll get a notification in Teams when the recap is ready. This recap will highlight content that was shared, summarize notes, and any action items for you or others whose names were mentioned. You see that one of your customers was discussed, and you want to learn more. You can ask Copilot clarifying questions, and it provides a detailed response. It can tell you why a certain decision was made and gives you helpful context. You can even ask Copilot what other solutions were considered. And it provides citations from the transcript so you can see where Copilot drew these conclusions. It's a huge time saver. So that was pretty cool. But the real magic of Copilot happens during a live meeting. Let's say you're in a meeting with your team. You can ask Copilot to summarize the meeting so far. You can see how it summarizes who said what what points were made, and it's really capturing the spirit of the discussion. And as the meeting progresses, you can check in on where people stand. You can even ask Copilot what questions are unresolved. It's just amazing to see this happen in real time during a meeting. This will not be death by video. Copilot in Outlook can help you prioritize your time and stay on top of meetings. Here you've been invited to a meeting that conflicts with the meeting you're planning to attend. Clearly, you can only attend one. From the meeting invite, you can choose to RSVP with follow. Switching over to your calendar, you can see that you're now following this meeting. Once the meeting starts on Teams, the organizer will receive a notification to record the meeting because someone is following it. Now, after the meeting is done and the recording is ready, Copilot will notify you that the meeting recap is ready for you to review. You can then ask Copilot some questions about the meeting, like, Summarize this meeting, or are there any action items for me? That way you can stay on top of things as if you are present during the meeting. Those of you who are paying attention probably noticed that those Microsoft videos, the calendars that they were demonstrating from were dated September, 2023. And at that time, Copilot was in a pre-release where it was enterprise space only. This was only available, I think the, the minimum, well, the minimum subscription size was basically outside the realm of what a small business would even be able to consider. And one of the things that Microsoft announced in January and February of this year was they have eliminated the floors. You can subscribe to Copilot with one user. So all the things that they built with the original enterprise audience in mind and then the mid-size business in mind, it is open. And talk about low risk and low cost being able to do something like this. The other thing that I want to point out is this data is six months old. Those demos are six months old at this point. Copilot has continued to evolve to the point where Copilot is actually a natural part of the interface of the modern Microsoft 365 Office Suite. Um, when you open up a new Word document, there's actually a little Copilot logo that's right there. And the first thing that appears is actually a Copilot prompt asking, what would you like to start writing about? And I've seen our team members even start leveraging that to get about a 60% head start on the first draft of I want to write a document like this okay great here let's start filling in the details and then it lets you iterative refine along the way to get closer and closer to what you're thinking of so it gives you that head start 